And coming up next is the UFC welterweight division matchup. has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg, and if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is right over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 159 pounds. Bam, bam. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California. Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go with round one. The tension is palpable. On one side, we've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialists, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you out. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, massive kick, everything behind it. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Big kick lands. Oh, beautiful hook by Lee. And now he's got the tight clinch. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Unable to connect there. Nice. Three. 
three minutes in our opening round. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here, and they separate. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. with the right hand. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into his underhook. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, and he lands another knee there. He has executed that weapon perfectly all night long. He's landed several of them in this round, really starting to do some damage with those knees. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Yet another knee landed there by Lee. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's going to fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. That knee might have landed there. Oh, he's going back to the knees again. Five minutes in the books. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustments to stop him. All right, round two. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. A little single collar tie there. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to that with the right time. Lee gets caught with that punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good stick. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Some serious bruising going on in and around that right thigh. May want to check a leg kick or two. Blocks the shot. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Oh, straight right. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in big martial arts initially. But now it has been found and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Big punch lands over the top. 
How's he gonna follow this one? Thirty seconds to go. He got the turnover in that kick. He's digging his entire weight into those punches to the body. Oh wow! Oh. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Third round underway. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Way to mix it up. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Nice head kick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Big kick lands. Just over three minutes to go now. Nice defense there, huge block. Real sneaky body kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Big Whoa! kick. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh! oh, big punch land. Gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ready for the official decision, Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eve Levine has got to stop this contest. At three minutes, 17 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.